Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and today in this video I'm going to be looking at a Linux distribution called Startcom Linux. Now, the last release of this was a few years ago, like you know, 2016, on their website. It says uh, May 26, 2010, six years ago. Um, they have a preview of version 5.0.5 .5, and the the newest Startcom Enterprise Linux AS-5.0.2 provides full support for virtualization. Okay, that would be installed in physical. Okay, so 2008, June 6, 2008 was um, a release. A release was made then. I really hope it can run in VirtualBox because if it can't then well that's not good. Now I really don't know what to expect in this video. As I said because this Linux distribution is so old I don't know what to expect. It could fa it can completely fail to install in VirtualBox. I have not looked at it. I don't know what to expect when I actually install it. I've the only screenshot I've seen of it is this screenshot right here of the login screen which looks pretty custom. Pretty much like a custom login screen to me. And it says somewhere uh, somewhere I can't find it. But it says that it has a 3D see we, I think it's under here. Yeah New are the OpenGL, okay, it's uh, 5.0.4 for Enterprise and the Multimedia Edition is 5.0.6. I have both the Multimedia and the Enterprise versions downloaded. New are also the OpenGL driven 3D desktop which allows for incredible effects and look and feel. Now I'm going to assume that that means that it uses KDE, but I really don't know what it has. So I'm just going to go create a new virtual machine, name it startcom linux. Oh, it detected it. Nice. Um, I think it's 32-bit. Um, actually, I'm just going to do other Linux 32-bit. I really have no clue. Um, 2048, two gigabytes. That that's good. Create a new hard disk. If you know how to do this, then you can just kind of skip ahead. Uh, I'm just going to choose 32 gigabytes. The reason why I'm showing this is because I have just to show that I've never looked at this before. So I'm going to go into settings. You can just skip ahead if you don't, if you already know how to set up a what. I'm just doing one processor because I don't know what um, if it ha will have any problems and then put this up to um, 70 megabytes yeah storage um, choosing the image mm. Startcom. I do have 64 bit. I'm just going to do 32 bit. Hmm. I'm going to do multimedia first. Audio. Okay. Network. And show at the top of the screen. Okay. And we can start it. Now we put this into full screen and. To install or upgrade in graphical mode, press the enter key. To install or upgrade in text mode, type Linux text and then hit enter. Use the function keys listed below for more information. Okay, I'm just going to enter. So now it's starting up. 
To begin testing the CD media before installation, click OK. Yeah, I'm just going to skip. Running Anaconda, the start com multimedia. Yeah, so this is based on Fedora, as far as, well, not Fedora, but as far as I know, this is re based on Red, Red Hat. So here's the uh, installation screen. Inst Here's the installation screen, not the uh, installation. Release notes. And so this is okay. It references Fedora. Okay, so it's based on. It's either based on Fedora or Red Hat. I'm not really sure on that. Oh, this is actually a window. That's, that's kind of cool. I'm just gonna be. Um, oh my. Okay. Input. Mouse integration off there. Ugh. Sometimes VirtualBox has trouble with mouse integration. I know as much about this Linux distribution as you do. I I'm gonna be experimenting with it, just looking around it, poking around. I mean, I know how to use Linux distributions, but I'm just going to be poking around this to see what it has. because I really personally don't know. Yeah, that works. America, New York. Root password. Root, root, there. Oh, okay. Root, 32, root, 32. This is just a, virtual machine so I don't really need any special stuff okay it's gonna have a set of software which let's do all of it yeah let's choose all of it except for web server because I don't need a web server I'm gonna skip ahead until this dependency checking is done It's doing it again. Oh, there we go. Click next to begin installation. Complete log. Can be found in root install.log. Kickstart file containing installation options selected. Okay. Next. So now it's installing. Starting install process. I personally don't know what to expect from this thing from Startcom Linux. Now, I'm probably going to have this in like, I don't know, four parts or something. Maybe two to four, maybe five or six parts. I don't really know how long, how much content I'm going to have on Startcom. So, yeah. Now, this is going to take a while, so um, I'm probably just going to speed this part up by about, uh, I'll see, I'll put on the screen how fast I'm speeding it up. Now, this stuff is really old. These programs are really old, and I'm I'm not even sure if I'll be able to actually download and install anything. I don't even know how to use Fedora, so <laughs> I mean it's probably yum install, but I don't know if I. Oh yep, see right here, K. No, oh, it's gone. KDE. There's KDE stuff right there, so I'm gonna assume that it uses KDE because it says k-desktop something. I can't remember what it said. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to download and install anything from the repositories. Um, I know that there's yum 
I think it's yum install. I'll have to check. Not really sure. Okay, so it's using Linux 2.6. I wasn't too sure on the version of it because it doesn't really say on their website, so I just put other Linux. And so far, it seems to work all right, I guess. But now there's GNOME stuff, too. It said something about GNOME. That might just be custom, uh, customizations or options for GNOME stuff. Yeah, see, there's KDE... Oh, 3.5. Okay, so this is KDE 3.5. Hmm. I figured it would be KDE 4 because... Um, it was, well, no, that was the Enterprise version. It did say copyright 2006 start com. Hmm. We'll have to see. Nice as VLC. That's, that's good. I like VLC. It ha it does have the GNOME Display Manager, so. so that must be what their uh, their login screen that they're using is. They're mixing a lot of GNOME and KDE stuff here. Yeah, see GNOME System Monitor? They're mixing a lot of GNOME and KDE stuff. I hope it'll work. I mean, it should work because Startcom is a company. If that makes any sense. Emerald! Nice, it has emerald window decorations. That's cool. Performing post install configuration. Installing bootloader, okay. So now we have to eject the uh, Oh, it automatically ejected it. So we reboot. Now it's rebooting. And press any key to enter the menu. Oh, okay. That's just grub. So now it's booting up. Looks like it doesn't have a regular... Oh, it does have Plymouth, okay. Oh, wow. I have never seen this kind of boot. Okay, so I have to do this. Yes, I agree. Oh, yes. Firewall. Um, sure, go ahead. SE Linux. I'm just going to leave that disabled. Date and time, July 25th, 2016. Um, looks good. Display. Millions of colors. I like how it's like, millions of colors! Like, that's impressive. I mean, it was for the time. But... It's just kind of funny to me. Um, this is a virtual machine. Oh. This is a virtual machine, so I don't need anything fancy. A sound card has been detected. I. Finish. I've never seen this sound card configuration screen before. Well, I guess it's the multimedia one. Local host, local domain, nice. I can't even read language. Session. Oh, so it has uh, GNOME and KE and failsafe, GNOME and failsafe terminal, okay. Oops. That's not a user. I wonder what, okay, authentication failed, okay. Nice. 
Okay, so it's starting up. Oh, okay, gnome. So this is gnome shell. So I'm going to um, save the machine state and um, and then I am going to install the VirtualBox guest editions. Oh, okay, that's nice. It opens already. never figure out how to install the VirtualBox guest editions in Linux. Okay, show the desktop. As I'm in a virtual machine, I don't really, um, I can't, um, where is the terminal? Where is it? Ugh. Is it under no accessories terminal? There it is. Okay, good. Whew. I don't um ever really know how to use this. I don't know how to. Okay, so sudo sudo run as root. I'm gonna assume that this is okay. Oop. I'm going to assume that this is how to install the guest editions. I never... what? Okay. Uh, okay, I guess we're not going to do that. So... Um... So, we've got the audio, we've got a calendar, oh, I have to click back there. When you right click on the desktop, you have create folder, create launcher, create document, clean up by name, keep aligned, and change desktop background. Let's see what they've got. So, can I make that bigger? Nice, okay. can't maximize it. So we've got no wallpaper. Blast of red. Oh boy, that's that's bright. Blue swirl. These all sound like ice cream flavors. Blue type. That's that's a lot of text. Boats pattern. Okay, I can't minimize that, see? Clouds pattern. default <laughs> so this is just basically blue swirls with no I, I guess it's kind of blue swirl with um, an overlay no it's it's actually quite different earth from space ellipses transparent translucent huh Flower garden. Yeah, that's that's um that's echinacea back there. That's that's um what echinacea looks like. Flat fresh flower. Yeah, that's that's quite red too. Gnome curves. Okay. Green meadow. That looks pretty good. Ladybugs. Pretty dark wallpaper. Open flower. Okay. Stars pattern. They did a very nice job with making it look 3D. Like those are they look like they're really far in the back, but they're just smaller and darker. That actually looks like a quite nice pattern for um I don't know, clothing or something. Something? It looks kind of busy, though, to be honest. Stonebird. 
this is a very complicated image. And then tentacles. Okay. So, um, I liked I liked Green Meadow. Actually, no. Blue Swirl. I like blue. I liked Blue Swirl. So we've also got options to fill the screen, to center it, fill the screen, have it scaled, or have it tiled. We also have other desktop color options. So under applications, we've got accessories, and we've got the archive manager, which is file roller. We've got calculator, character map, dictionary, G desk lits. Never used this before. Let's see what it has. If it'll load. Doesn't have, um, Okay, I guess that won't load. G scripter. Take screenshot, terminal, text editor. Get it, okay. I don't know why they messed up get it in version 3.20. It's like not very many buttons and stuff. Thesaurus. Games. We've got Isle Riot software. Attacks. Blackjack. Five or more. Four in a row, free cell, solitaire, lagno, oh, reversi, okay. Uh, Klotsky, Mahjong, Mines, Nibbles, Guide a Worm Around a Maze, a Worm Game for Gnome, that looks like it's ripped off from worms. New. Oh, look, this is Snake. This. This is a pretty horrible game, actually. Ugh. That's that's just Snake with the Worms, Worm series like Worms Two and Worms uh, Revolution and stuff like that. Robots. Uh. What? What is this? Uh. Did I lose? I think I lost. Um, that makes no sense. Okay. Uh, same gnome. Oh, same for gnome. Okay. Tally and Tetravix. Mine mine. This is just pretty much Windows Minesweeper, kind of. Under graphics, we've got Blender. Yay. Oh my, this is... Why is that green? That's so scary. Why is this green? So... Cool. Got Blender. Blender is pretty cool. I'm not going to try making anything with that because it's... It, it takes time. We've got Cinepaint. I don't know what that is. Digicam for taking screen, no, KDE Photo Management. G Thumb Image Viewer, Krita for, as a paint program. Oh, that's pretty uh, close together in there. Photo printer, show photo, and the GIMP. Hey, this is cool. Wow. Close. Hmm. Ah, where is the main thing? New. Okay. Cool. So this is. So this is uh, GIMP.
This is, oh, I don't know what version of GIMP that is. Um, it's a pretty old version though. Under internet, we have A-Link Creator, A-Mule for your E-Mule downloads, BitTorrent file transfer, contacts, email, Firefox web browser. This is probably like Firefox 2 or 3. Oh, this is 1.5. And it still works. That's cool. I'm going to go to... Oh, wait, no, that's... No, oh, that's their HTML page. I'm going to go to Bing, see what happens. Well, it kind of works. Minus this thing right here. So we've got Google, Yahoo, Creative Commons. Huh. I didn't know that they had a search engine. Answers eBay and that's a weird Amazon icon. Creative Commons um, test. What will this do? Oh, okay. So this can help you find stuff for um, Creative Commons content. Okay. I'm gonna go try going to my website. I doubt that this will work. It kind of works. Sort of. Like, um, basic HTML works. Kind of. It's pretty horrible, actually. Firefox uh, 1.5. But what, um,. What I really like about my new website is that I can just kind of resize it. Oh, and that, that does work in um, Firefox 1.5 to an extent. That's pretty neat. And we have GFTP, IP telephony, voice over IP and video conferencing, Conqueror web browser, Linphone, Pigeon Instant Messenger, and Thunderbird email. Conquer is pretty much the Internet Explorer of Linux. Under Office, we've got Abby Word, Calendar, K Chart, Kexi, K My Money, K Office Workspace. Not sure that why that's a rainbow for their icon. Krita, K Spread, K Thesaurus, K Word, OpenOffice.org stuff, Project Management, and Tasks. Oh, that's just evolution email client stuff K office workspace why is this why is the icon a rainbow text document okay um this uh doesn't make much sense so under Office, under Programming, we've got Bluefish Editor, Bug Report Tool, DevHelp, Fluid, and Glade. Um, under Sound and Video, we've got this. We've got a lot of stuff. Also, Modulator, Synth, AM, Synth, Ardour. Audacity, audio player, Banshee for music playing, CD player, Cinerella, Freebirth, Helix player, Hydrogen, Hydrogen drum machine, Ja, Lash panel, Lash synth, Movie player, M player, QJack connect, QJack CTL, Rose Garden 4, Sound converter, Sound juicer, CD extractor, Sound tracker, VLC media player, and Zine. This is a very old version of VLC. Help about VLC media player 0.8.6C WX widgets interface. I wonder, check for updates. Check for updates. Release announce and source code. Nah. I could try to update it. Uh, I'm gonna try to update it too later. System tools, Compass Fusion Icon. 
DV disaster file browser Nautilus okay that's so that's Nautilus close okay that worked apparently that close button didn't work uh, network device control notepad reject it soft these are for um, these are for uh, wine oh this is a very old version of notepad and mine itself so we've got a software updater I'm gonna run that later sync that's why uh, since software manager tray icon wine configuration wine file wine software uninstaller win help and yum extender then we've got add and remove software under places we've got just the usual under system we've got uh, a lot of stuff under administration we've got some other things help about gnome so this is GNOME 2.1.4.2. Build date is June 16th of 2016. This is going on for quite a while. So now I'm going to just go out in back into KDE.